Sure. Our next guest says equity markets still face considerable downside risk while inflation remains much too high. Joining us now is Barclays Investment Bank's Venu Krishna, who has an S&P target of 37.24. Here at Post 9, B of A Security Senior U.S. Economist Aditya Bave. Uh, let me start with you. Aditya, what impact do you think the, I don't want to call it a crisis, but this turmoil we see in the financial sector will have on the Fed and its willingness to continue to raise rates? Look, I think it's a very close call for the Fed at the moment. If next Wednesday they feel confident that they have ring-fenced this financial stress, then they can look at the broader economic backdrop and say, yes, it does warrant additional rate hikes. And I think that's consistent with what we saw from retail sales and the CPI yesterday, where it still looks like there are concerns that the economy is reaccelerating, inflation is still much too high. So, again, the Fed wants to respond aggressively to financial stress, but if they feel that it's ring fence, then they also want to show that they can chew gum and walk at the same time. They can be a lender of last resort and at the same time respond to the broader Is economic there a, con a contractionary impact from the events themselves, even if they do not lead, as we all hope, to any sort of significant financial crisis? Again, it depends on exactly that, right? So if they're able to ring fence the problem, then the economic fallout should be relatively mild. If not, then we'll have to see how things play out. Venu, I feel like the question is almost, will they make a mistake if they go 25 basis points, as, as a lot of people think that they're going to do, because they still have an inflation fight on their hands? What, what will that do then to some of these problems in the system and to the economy? Uh, I don't think that's going to be a, a mistake from our perspective, uh, simply because, uh, you know, they're trying to handle two things right now. The bigger problem is obviously a financial stability in the banking system. Uh, and equally, a different objective of theirs is to fight inflation. So unfortunately, they're, they're in a tight spot in which in some way or capacity they have to handle uh, both the problems at the same time. And, uh, you know, as, as we know, inflation is proven to be a little stickier than uh, people expected. It's not just a linear decline, which many were optimistically expecting. Uh, so I think uh, the solution, obviously, is somewhere in between. It, 50 basis points is ruled out. Uh, and the market is really now talking about 25 or zero. But uh, I think 25 is, is not probably touches on both the objectives of trying to say that, yes, we do care about inflation. Yes, it is a, a problem which we don't want to get embedded, especially in terms of expectations. At the same time, you know, they deeply care about uh, not... Uh, creating imbalances in the financial system, which ultimately is a grease for the real economy. Uh, so it's, it's a tight spot.